That was the Ides of March. It was the 15th of March. Um, when the sirens went off, I was driving my son to the high school. And I heard the sirens and, of course, like looked up in the sky and didn't see anything. I had time to turn around, get home, gather up my kids. And sort of thought it might be a test. Their dad, who lives about three miles away, and said, I'm looking at a tornado and it's heading your way. And, you know, then we heard the wind and I started to hear pieces of the, you know, the house breaking apart, glass shattering. I was warming something up in the microwave and um, it sounded like a car hit the side of my house. The kids remember more of the, the train sound and I remember the ground was rumbling. And then all of a sudden one of the windows blew in. It was an intense few minutes, but you know, it was only a few minutes once you realize, wow, this is actually happening until it's over. And I'm walking around the house looking outside and I open the blind to across the street and I see the house gone. And I'm like on the phone going, oh my God, the house is gone. So I opened the closet to see that there was a waterfall in my basement. I could see things from the garage in the backyard. And then I watched the guy crawl out of the basement. And I went, I gotta go, <laughs> you know. He was, he'd crawled up and I yelled and asked if he was okay. And amazingly, there are no reports of serious injuries so far. Hundreds of construction workers are helping with the cleanup and the American Red Cross has set up a shelter for survivors. Everyone's back except Mikhail. <laughs> in case something happens in the middle of the night, I have my, my, <laughs> Um, radio. Get that nice handy app for your iPhone that warns you. Pay attention to it because even if it's sunny, it could still come. It's very humbling to know that it's out of your, that something's out of your control and it just happens.